Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video too. So today I'm here with another FGO video. This is another arcade reaction and I'm going to resume. Uh, it's like a little series that I was doing reacting to all the arcade Noble Phantasms. I did two parts before. I'll be linking it down below if you've not checked it out. And I'm going to do part three now. And uh, I was a little bit busy, uh, you know, in the middle because of the new events that came out in FGO. So I was unable to do this. I originally planned on doing this, uh, you know, every week and completing all of the Noble Phantasm in like five, four or five weeks. But I had to discontinue it because of the events. I, I was busy with that and making videos on that. So now that the event is over and I'm back to do this and another event is going to come out in FGO which is the uh, battle in New York again at that time I might have to discontinue this because I'll be busy with that so but anyways let's start this video okay so before we start I have two uh, two things to talk about first of all um, we are very close to 1k subscribers I think I'm currently at 890 110 more subscribers left I'm very happy so if you guys are not subscribed be sure to do so also uh, another thing is that obviously when i usually put out as i said one or two fg related videos whenever there's an event going on or anything i usually do those gameplay videos on those if there are no no event going on i usually do stuff like this for example this arcade uh, np reactions some trailers other stuff so if you have any suggestions for me you know uh, anything you want me to react to fgo related that i've not seen uh comment down below and i'll definitely do that uh it'll take probably like take some time when i get some free time i'll do that but i'll surely keep that in mind and, and do that and i was kind of thinking about making videos on like you know like uh i i'm very what can i say i don't know the if like the servants lore that much so i was kind of thinking about making videos on servants that i i don't know any lore about and uh you know kind of checking their articles out and everything you know kind of discussing about them and going to the type moon wiki page and like you know le learning about them I, I thought about making videos on that i'm not sure how people like whether people will watch it or not so i'm quite curious so if you're interested in that be sure to let me know but anyways so that's all that and let's get started this epi uh, this sorry this is video number three of um fgo jp uh, arcade noble phantasms uh in the previous video i stopped at edward teach oh and also the playlist for this uh, the videos that i'm using on this uh, in this reaction will be given down in the description box you can check them out it has all the arcade NPs. i think how many of them um 97 of them i'm currently at the 46th one so yeah like in the previous video i uh, stopped at edward teach so today i'm going to continue with nito chris so the first MP, Nito Chris, as I usually do, I'll look at it and then talk about it a little. So yeah, let's get started. So here we go. <clears throat> okay. There you go. Oh, this is a summon Nito Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the... What the? Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> that was interesting. Okay, there she is. Okay, unfortunately I don't have her. Summon it first. Oh yeah, I remember the Noble Phantasm in in the game. <laughs> very <in> <laughs> the, the summoning scene was very interesting. Like obviously something like that cannot be done in the game because the game usually shows you as uh, like, you know only the still picture but here <laughs> the camera <laughs> angle tries to peek at <laughs> oh my god wow okay <laughs> that was that was funny <laughs> really like you know like she was talking and introducing herself and like you know the camera kind of pans down tries to <laughs> sneak a peek <laughs> oh my god wow that was that was fantastic <laughs> that that was 
I don't know what to say. Like, cleverly done or something like that. And uh, yeah, the noble phantasm was. Uh, she basically drowns them. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Ah, that was nice. Alright, that was uh, Nitocris. Summon Nitocris. And okay, so the next one will be Mooncaster BB. Which one is this? Is this a summer BB? Uh, yeah, I think this is a summer BB. Alright. I think so at least. Let's see. Like both of them are moon cancer, so yeah, it's a summer BB. Wow, she is basically insulting us. <laughs> wow, she is ruthless. <laughs> well, that's BB, so. Oh boy. Senpai? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> Nero, Emi, and Tamamo, obviously. <laughs> obviously, those three are here. Okay. <laughs> Boy, BB is as always, she's <laughs> insulting, basically, insults you as soon as she's summoned. And then says that, oh, I'm kidding, you know, senpai, it's nothing like that. <laughs> like, I tried to get her when she, like, you know, when she was introduced in um, NA. Unfortunately, I did not. I was unable to. I got each and every servant, not, not each and every servant, but most of the servant except her. I got uh, Med, I got um, the foreigner, uh, you know, mistress here in the XX. And, uh, but unfortunately, I did not get her. So that was kind of sad. You know, because I really wanted a, you know, another moon cancer with me. And BB is an interesting character, so... <laughs> and I really loved her design. I really like her design. It's like, you know, his, her... All of the her ascensions are, like, very different from each other. Like, they're completely different. I really love that, but... Bad. Luck did not, you know... Uh, yeah, luck was not at my side. And... Yeah. But anyways, I was kind of sad when I did not get her, you know, for a few, <laughs> a few days, but yeah, nothing can be done. Anyways, uh, the next one, uh, Jolter Berserker. Oh, she's a free servant, isn't she? Yeah. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Why is her face like that? Her face looks weird. Is it just me? I don't know. Anyways. Alright. Oh yeah, she, she's beating up Artoria Alter. <laughs> Okay. Mm, okay, that was good. <laughs> okay, so first of all, her face looks weird. Is is it just me? You know, the face her facial animations. I don't know. It kind of looks weird in a way. Uh, but anyways, yeah, and. Uh, okay, like I like I like, I really like her design. Like you know her character design is very interesting it's like you know like i don't know what to say but i mean i'm i've always been a fan of her design uh, all, both the jolters the, both of the designs are very like you know very good and uh, yeah and i usually don't use her because i have a lot of other berserkers you know like i have mama raiko i have obviously i got musashi recently and i have um heracles as well so, but her, like, you know, like, you know, her, especially her skills are quite interesting. Like, the, the whole, the thing with where you get a, get an evade after every turn. 
only one evade, you know, for three turns, I think. And that's quite interesting. And uh, like, you know, she usually applies burn to the enemies. Those are quite interesting. And yeah, she, she's, she's, she's quite a, I, I think like, she's quite a strong character. But yeah, like I usually don't use her that much. Anyways. So yeah, as a single target, uh, you know, NP user, obviously uh, Heracles is a lot more, you know, stronger than her, I think. But yeah, she she's just there, and I I love Jolter in, in in you know like herself as a character. So yeah, it's good that we got a free Jolter by uh, in the summer event. But yeah, anyways, okay, that was that, and let's get to the next one. Mama Raiku, Lancer. <laughs> oh boy, Mama Raiku. I also have her, obviously. Like you know, I got her as well. Yeah. She's quite strong, I have to say, like her MP especially. Oh my god. Oh, the animation. Oh, what's that? What's that? Damn, the jiggle physics are... Um, anyways. <laughs> Wait, who's she beat? She's beating up Ibaraki? Wouldn't it be Shuten? I was expecting it to be Shuten. Okay. <laughs> Alright, her Noble Phantasm... I have to say, the Arcade Noble Phantasm... I don't know, I, I like... I think I like the mobile version Arcade Noble Phantasm a lot more. I don't know why, but you know, this, this Noble Phantasm... Yeah, I did not like it that much. I think I would prefer the mobile version Noble Phantasm, which is quite rare, obviously, because these are fully animated. But I love, you know, when the, in the Noble Phantasm, in, in the mobile version, she kind of, you know, it's like, she, she spins her the thing, and then when she's about to launch it, there's like a slow motion, and, like, you know, she launches it, and I really like that portion. So, yeah. Alright, yeah, that was it. Okay, so the next one, um, Artoria Archer. Yes. <laughs> I love the fact that in her Archer form, she basically has a water gun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I, think she, I think she's one of the strongest archers in game, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? why? Why is her gun transparent? I'm guessing it's like a water gun, so that's why. <laughs> wow! Okay, wait. Whoa, this is good. Wow! <laughs> She's beating up Gilgamesh! <laughs> Wait a minute! I never noticed this before. Does she? Just a sec. In her noble phantasm. Okay, she's first of all she's hitting with her Excalibur. I never noticed this before. So she, <laughs> the the last shot that she shoots using her water gun, she launches the Excalibur with it. Imagine attaches it to the muzzle of the water gun and then shoots. I don't have her, so I'm, I'm guessing that's the main reason why I never noticed it. So, I never noticed that before. I thought she, in, in the ending, she usually shoots her gun, but she actually shoots her gun and attached to it is her Excalibur. <laughs> Boy, that was, I never noticed that. It's the first time I'm noticing that. God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, okay, the next one. Uh, oh, the next one, Shuten uh, Doji. Oh my god, I love her voice acting. Oh god. I think her voice actress, her name is Aoi Yuki, isn't it? I think so. Can't remember. And she has done a lot of... Okay. 
Yeah. Damn. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy, her voice. Oh god. <laughs> She's beating Kintoki. Okay. I expected it to be Raiko, but. Oh wow, this is. Wow. Oh boy, like everybody knows, like you know, her voice actor is amazing. I think her name is. I might be wrong. Uh, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. Aoi Yuki, you know. I think that was her name, and I think she has done a lot of fantastic voice acting. For example, um. I think she's the uh, voice actor of Tanya. And uh, okay, after this ends, if I remember, I'll I'll I'll, I'll be checking it out. You know, um, I think she did Tanya, a lot of other characters as well. Um, recent oh, I think Kumoko San from uh, uh, Kumo Desu Kananika. Yeah, I think she she also voice acted her. I really love her. You know, her voice acting is fantastic, and. Uh, yeah, anyways, okay, let's check out the next one. Oh, uh, I didn't talk about uh, animations. Uh, yeah, nothing much to talk about. It's basically the same, but obviously, like, you know, like, her... What can I say? Her movements and everything, like, filled with elegance and, like, what do you call it? And intoxicity, if you can call that, you know? Like, everything, her voice, her m movements, the way she acts, is in intoxicating, and that perfectly like you know it's extremely melts well with her character in game you know so yeah anyways okay well, the next one okay it's ibaraki i think yeah rashomon raid what what's this rashomon raid event pv oh wait what oh this is something different oh okay wait the arcade versions also have pvs like, I, like, yeah, I know, I'm talking about event PV. Oh, wow, okay. I saw uh, the gameplay of arcade version before, and it's quite interesting, I have to say. I think it's like, it, it works like a normal RPG, an uh, action RPG, you know, where you get turns to actually uh, move. And attack no it's like a, what can I say yeah it is like an action RPG not action RPG but no not an action RPG it's more like a tactical RPG okay that's the noble phantasm <laughs> poor Kintoki he's getting beaten up even by, by like you know <laughs> by Raiku by um, uh, <laughs> Shooting by Ibaraki. Oh my God. Okay, just a sec. Um, all right. Uh, okay. So as I was saying, uh, yeah, that was uh, okay. Th this one I think is the Ibaraki's uh, noble phantasm. Okay. So as I was saying, uh, I think the arcade version works a more more lot like I don't know. I might be wrong. A lot like the tactical RPGs where you know you get a get a turn. You know, you move and then like you know in the next not in the next phase you actually attack. And uh, you know those JRPGs, and uh, then like you know your turn ends, and then your teammates turn, you know your own teammate. Then after you have your all of your turn has ended, it it's the turn of the enemy, and they kind of act like the same, and it kind of you know moves like that. I think it's more like that, but obviously here we have animations and stuff, and uh, it's kind of like a mixture of action RPG and. Um, a strategic like you know rpgs kind of a mixture i think i think that's how it goes i might be wrong but yeah anyways okay so that was that okay so this one ibaraki doji yeah i think this one is the ibaraki jo doji's uh, yeah there you go proper uh noble phantasm and introduction <clears throat> you like it spooked me i think two times <laughs> Ibaraki Doji. 
<laughs> banana. <laughs> Our banana girl is here. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Oh, she, she's she's beating up Mash. All right, that obviously that noble phantasm is pretty simple as we see in the mobile version. And uh, yeah, like Ibaraki, as I said, Ibaraki uh, spooked me I think two times, and I never had her. And very recently, I think one year ago, most probably, I got her, and she spooked me two times. And I think she's NP two. I'm not sure. Something like that for me. And uh, Ibaraki, <laughs> like I, I was kind of like you know like uh, what can I say? I, I tried for Mam Mama Raiku before and I got her, but I never got Ibaraki. So I was kind of a little bit sad about that. But you know she spooked me and I'm all happy with that. And uh, yeah, and I think like Rashomon event was most probably the first. Yeah, I think the first event where you know where you actually uh, with all the other masters. You know, collectively you attack an enemy and the HP kind of, you know, goes down. I think that was the first event in FGO, which was like that. And I remember myself getting, I was very excited for that. And I think that was the first time we actually fought a very strong enemy, you know, uh, especially after the raid events ended. So like that, I, I remember that very clearly. And uh, yeah, because that was like the first time I actually fought someone so strong. <laughs> Boy. Uh, anyways, okay, so that was that and all right the next one um, <clears throat> Benke Okay, I know this is not actually Benke. This, uh, he has some other name. I can't remember You know, sh she's basically Okay, like I will forget his name. I know it but Benke Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Why? Alright. Damn. Whoa. Wow, that's a cool noble phantasm. That's a cool noble phantasm. Wow, I love that. Yeah, that was that was great. And okay, as I was saying, like I know he's not Benke. Okay, you know they mentioned it before. I can't remember his name, but I think he's one of the soldiers who ran away during the war. And after that, I think she, that was her his regret, and he made you know like, and he got like you know called to the throne of heroes. And uh, now he is like, calling himself Benke and accompanying uh, Ushiwaka Maru so that he doesn't repeat his mistake again. Again, something like that. I think his story was that. And I was very surprised. I think he actually said that in Babylonia for the first time. I remember, I think. And I, I remember myself getting very surprised. Like, that was a real twist at that moment. I was like, what? This is not Benke? <laughs> Boy. Oh no. So like who, who knows maybe in the future we'll get the actual Benke, you know, uh, in the future, I don't know, but yeah, Th there's a possibility. Yeah, anyways, okay, so yeah, that was that and I loved his noble phantasm, it's so cool in the, the especially the animated version, boy, yeah. Alright, the next one. Oh, Fujino. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> magare magare <laughs> all right and there she is konnichiwa oh wow hoshiwakai majutsushi san asagami fujino to she's calling me young okay etto klasu wa acha de ii no deshou ka Yes. 
お役に立てるかしら。ノブファンタズムズ、ベイ、ホール、マガレ、マガレ、カモン。Oh, right, yeah, she's, she's beating up Shiki. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love her noble phantasm. It has no relationship with an archer. You know, she basically. <laughs> She wrecks the whole bridge, and obviously, we know where that is from. It's from Karno Kyokai, where you know, in one of the I think in one of the movies, she actually you know, destroys the whole bridge, and it's from that. But it, it has no relationship with any archer, you know, like her, her noble fantasy is very unique in that way. <laughs> she breaks the whole bridge. Oh my god, the, okay, and uh. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I would love if we get some more,、uh, like, kind of these t y p e of、um, uh, you know, servants, like from Tsukihime,、uh, Kore Karano Kyokai. Do we have any、uh, servant from Tsukihime? I don't think so. I would love if we get Ashid,、uh, you know, I think that's how her name Her name's pronunciation is very difficult. I'm sorry if I butchered it. I think it's Ashid Brunstad, isn't it? Something like that. Now, I would love it if she actually comes as a servant in the future. You know? Because we already we have Fujino here, we have Shiki here. Why not from someone from Tsukihime? Yeah, you know? So, I would love to see some collab event, you know?、Uh, between Tsukihime and uh, uh, FGO. So, hopefully in the future. <laughs> okay. The next one. Ah, Shiki. Paper Shiki. <clears throat> Oh my god, I love her character design so much. Like in, in the kimono. And her noble phantasm is very pretty as well. Saber no servant to Ryogi Shiki. Shokan no Oji Sanjo i t a s h i m a s h t And the voice acting by Maya Sakamoto, obviously. Kore de Ino Kashiro. Ishoku ni mohodo ga ada shoke do. よろしくね、マスターおーぼい、あらいちりどきねいつのいずつたまもめいつわあらいわお、I、I、really love this novel fantasy it's so beautiful like look at it わお Oh my god, wow, that was pretty. Okay. Yeah, her character design, her、uh, voice acting, obviously by Maya Sakamoto, is top notch.、Um, the Noble Phantasm, everything is so damn amazing. I really lo like, love, love it when I'm like, you know, her. And I, 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 it's a shame that we, like, you know, at least in my friend list, I don't have anyone. I think I have a few of them. But, you know, like, majority don't have her. As a servant, and、uh, it's really kind of a shame. And I, I think、uh, when I started the game,、um, yeah, I, I also was unable to roll for her. Yeah, I, I, at that moment, I, I was like, you know, basically new to the game. And obviously, we got a rerun after that, but because of all the other servants, I was never able to save up for her and summon her. <laughs> like every servant in FGO is so amazing that you want them all, but unfortunately, you have to make difficult choices to choose one or the other if you're an F2B player, uh, uh, especially. Uh, yeah, so. Okay. Oh, so、uh, another thing is like, I love the fact that Maya Sakamoto has so many roles in FGO. She does、uh, Shiki, Shiki's voice acting, she does Leonardo da Vinci's voice acting, she does、uh, John d i a r t s voice acting. Uh, like three of them. Like, wow. So, <laughs> yeah.、Um, yeah, okay, so that was it. And,、um, like, you know, like, I,、um, like, my most favorite voice actor,、uh, actress is Maya Sakamoto, if, if you guys don't know. Like, she's top in my list. And after that, I think,、uh, after that, I love Sakura Tange,、uh, who is Nero's voice actress. And then I think、uh, I, I should put、uh, Kana Ueda, who is obviously Tosaka Rin's voice actor. 
uh, voice actress. So that's like the you know the uh, ranking of voice actors and voice actors in my list. And uh, if you have to choose from male, obviously it will be Bedivere because uh, Mamoru Miyano is the voice actor of him. So obviously Bedivere is on, on top. And then comes Gilgamesh, obviously. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, I'm, I went on a tangent. So yeah, okay. The next one, uh, Ryogishiki Assassin. <clears throat> The change in the way she voice acts. The previous in Saber Shiki, she was so. What can I say? It's soft spoken in a way. Here she's like rash and, like, you know, blunt in a way. Wow. Alright. I think she's still one of the best assassins in game and okay that's the end and I, I think after Castoria comes in she she's even going to get stronger because of the arts buff you know so yeah like she's still one of the strongest assassins in game she's a welfare servant so her HP is a little bit low but her damage is really nice and especially her NP the single target assassin NP yeah, okay all right, so yeah, that was Ryogi, Ryogi Shiki, and <clears throat> and yeah, Noble Phantasm is great as well. Uh, and but I, I obviously I prefer the pre previous Shiki's Noble Phantasm a lot more because I said you know like it, it looks so pretty and elegant. I love that the whole white background that comes with the Saber version is it, just fantastic. And uh, yeah, all right, the next one, Attila. Or Altera. <laughs> uh, oh my god, she's going to talk about bad civilizations, isn't she? Alright. <laughs> Wait, that was short? What? Oh my god, Tamamo's moans! God, Tamamo, calm down! Okay, here we go. Wow, that's colorful! And it looks even better because this is animated. Wow, that was colorful, you know? Uh, especially her sword. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's very simple. Her noble phantasm is very simple, but it's very colorful and vibrant in a way. And uh, yeah, that's Altera. She, I, I was surprised she didn't say anything about civilization. You know, like, it's like bad civilization or something. <laughs> okay. All right, the next one. Oh, Lancelot, isn't it? Yeah. Both like a Lancelot. <clears throat> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite interested in what he's going to say. Because he doesn't talk, does he? Yeah. I mean, he just makes weird noises. <laughs> wow, beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, he's beating up Artoria. Okay, that was expected. <laughs> And his noble phantasm is... <clears throat> oh my god, we can see the Fuyuki bridge. Okay, one thing I've always wondered, I don't know if there's a deeper meaning behind it. Was, is there a meaning behind his noble phantasm? Like the, the jet that she kind of gets on and the minigun that he uses? Is there another, can I, is there any kind of deeper meaning behind it? Because... I don't know. Or is this something completely random? Let me know if you guys know, you know? So, yeah, like I always wondered, like, why does he, like, you know, get on top of a. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the airplane and, like, uses. Oh, I think. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I think it was in uh, Fate Zero, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think that's why. 
Yeah, I think it, it was from Fate Zero. It's been a while I've seen Fate Zero. I've forgotten quite a few details. Yeah, it must be that. So, alright. Okay, that was uh, Lancelot. <laughs> as, like, you know, as expected, he doesn't talk. <laughs> Just makes noises. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Alright, the next one. Budika. <clears throat> <laughs> I think his, her Noble Phantasm is a defensive one, isn't it? I never use her, so I don't actually know properly. I think it is, yeah. He, she gets on a chariot as far as I can remember. Whoa. Okay. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Nero, obviously. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, she she gets on a chariot. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a defensive NP. Hmm. I think she people usually don't use her. Yeah. You know, obviously, like lower rated servants. There are a lot of servants which a lot of people, like you know, most of the people use. For example, Hans. Um, judges, uh, Chengong, uh, who else? There's a lot of others as well. People even use Leonidas, Shakespeare, you know, uh, Mozart, uh, like a lot of people use them, Arash, uh, Robin Hood. But I think her I think people usually don't use her because her, you know, even her attacks and also her noble phantasm is really not that powerful. I think that was the re that is the reason why people don't usually use her. So, yeah, <laughs> sad. <laughs> All right, the next one. Ah, Tamamo, here we go. Tamamo no Mai. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to her lines. And her noble phantasms, obviously. <clears throat> there she is. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow! Oh my god. <laughs> I love her, I, like, you know, attacks. So good. <laughs> oh, it's the narrow anemia. Okay, um, I have a story about her, like, you know, like, um, I remember I got introduced to her when, uh, uh when was it, um, I think, uh, in Fate Extra, no, no, I never played Fate Extra, where did I get even into, oh, um, I think in Fate, um, Extella, yeah. When I played, I like you know I got introduced to her, and after that I started knowing about you know uh, Nero and uh, Tamamo and all of them. Now, <laughs> funny thing, uh, I obviously I, I played uh, the Fate Vision novel and then the Hollow Ataraxia, and at that time I only thought that okay you know the Fate universe is basically comprised of these people like Artoria, Emia, and uh, you know Tosakarin, all of them. These are the few characters in the Fate universe. And obviously Kirisugu, Iris, Will, those were there. But I thought those were the only characters. And then suddenly, uh, one day I actually ran into uh, Nero. I was like, w who is this? Is this like, you know, another Artoria? You know, because obviously Nero like has a saber face. I thought it was also some other variant of Artoria, you know. Uh, because I knew that Artoria had other variants as well, like Lancer Artoria and all. So I thought that that was Artoria. But later on, I like you know, I actually realized that that's not Artoria, that's Nero. <laughs> oh my god! And uh, then I got, I started getting introduced to the whole, you know, extra universe. And then FGO came in, like you know, I got introduced to FGO, and like my horizon widened so much that I actually realized that fate is, uh, what can I say? Like, <laughs> fate is like the universe; it keeps expanding. <laughs> okay, and um. <clears throat> 
So yeah, as I was saying, so at that time, like I, I really loved Nero, and I really did not think much about Tamamo, but um, yeah, she, she's very quirky, and I really like that about her now. Uh, and I kind of got warmed up to her, and I also read about her lore. Her lore is quite sad, I have to say. I can't remember the finer details, but I remember that her story is very sad. You know, and after actually reading it, like you know, like we actually get to understand why she's always like you know like i'm a loving wife but she always tries to be your loving wife why like you know the reason behind it and i can't as i said i can't remember the final details but it's sad her, her story is quite sad so all of that like you know combined i really started liking her and i love both nero and tamamo both of them now so <laughs> yeah i really did not have much i did not have much preference for her but as time went on yeah my you know <laughs> my uh, you know, point of view changed and I started looking at her in a completely new perspective. So anyways, that was yeah, something. And uh, yeah, I, I always say I, I have Tamamo. Uh, I think she spooked me once. Yeah, I never really did try for her. She spooked me and it was what, like one of my most luckiest thing ever. So <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. Oh, and I remember um her animation uh it was very simple in the beginning when we like you know when we started playing when fg was quite new i think she used to use the talismans mans, you know to actually throw them to you and use uh, like you know made damage nowadays it the, her animation has changed she usually i think she uh you know uses fire ice and like you know uh, thunderstorm to actually attack but before that, it was very simple and like, you know, normal like that. I usually did not uh, use her that much. But after her animation changed, I, I really loved using her because I really love the new animations that she has. And uh, yeah, it, it looks great. So yeah, anyways, okay, that was that. All right, the next one, Karna. Oh my God, here we go. All right. <clears throat> ah, there he is. Wow. Sir, <laughs> Short and simple. <laughs> oh boy. His attacks are so damn cool. Especially when she he uses his eye to Wow. Wow, this is great. Woo! Woo! Like a badass in the end. Oh my god, Karna's character design is so damn cool, like, you know, boy, that is something, ah, like, I love it, and, as I said, like, you know, I, I was very surprised when I actually got to know that Karna is in fate, like, <laughs> like, it was one of the biggest shock I ever had, I was like, Karna? Like, is this the same Karna? Like, our Mahabharata's Karna? Is he in FGO? Uh, and, uh, not FGO, that, uh, that was the time when, uh, like, you know, I got to know that he was in Fate Extra. I was like, he's in Fate Extra? And I was very, like, you know, I was like, what the hell? Like, how is this possible? And then I checked it out and I was like, oh my god, yeah, it is Karna. <laughs> then I got, like, you know, I started searching that, is there any other Indian service? And lo and behold, in, like, you know, uh, I got introduced to Arjuna. I got introduced to I think, and Parvati, I think Parvati was also introduced at that time yeah Parvati then like you know all the other Indian servants as well uh, I think Ashwatthaman did not was not uh, present at that time yeah he was he did not he was not released I think so neither was Kama yeah and uh, I think Nezha was there uh, and Nezha's kind of uh, you know like uh, under the Indian servants uh, tag and there was another servant, um, Saver, you know, uh, if you guys know Saver, uh, I think he, his actual, he's actual uh, Gautama Buddha. I think that's like, you know, his actual, and I, I, it's kind of a real, uh, like, you know, I'm not sure if Saver is like a 
class or something i i, I should probably check her, him out again because i i briefly got to know that uh, like you know gautama buddha is also a servant in fgo and uh, i think saver was in fate extra wasn't he yeah i think so and oh yeah as i was saying like and i got introduced to all the indian servants and i was like what the hell like i never knew this like so cool it really like you know it's it really like feels amazing when um uh when you see like you know when you can relate to some characters and like you know like i think like fgo really like you know i got really attracted to fgo because of that as well like i love fate and in, in general as, as, as well but i love the fact that like you know like it also has indian servants like karna arjuna like so cool and uh, yeah it was it was such like you know like i really like that was like i remember that time like i was really what can i say um hyped so much that the like you know indian servants in 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 this game <laughs> oh boy ah uh, yeah i i remember i like you know like a, a few of my friends who like watch it anime like as soon as i got to know that like karna and you know there there i was like yo guys check this out and <laughs> they were like wow <laughs> boy i remember that time damn anyways uh, there are actually like obviously there are people who kind of take this a wrong way people like you know there are some people who say that oh like you know like they're um they call disrespecting our culture but obviously like i i really love the fact that there are characters here who, the indian characters here as well and it's so cool to actually see them as a character in game so and i would i would really love if like, i'm sure they will uh, like you know bring more uh, indian servants in the future as well i i would really love that even more of some indian servants because there are so many characters i i, I would love to see as a servant in in game no so yeah okay uh, anyways the next one obviously arjuna <clears throat> all right i'm going to watch this and then i'm going to end this video here i'm going to continue it in the next video <coughs> Ah, there she, he is. Servant, Archer, Arjuna, to know him. Master, I will take care of you completely. Wow. Okay. Inuk. Okay. He is the actual archer who uses a bow. There are others as well, but you know. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. That was Arjuna, and uh, yeah, obviously, like, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, it was really cool to actually see his noble phantasm animated, and his noble phantasm is pretty simple. You know, he basically. Excuse me. Uses his noble phantasm is like blows up the whole place, and uh, like um, now, if I had to say, I would like you know I I really prefer Karna a lot more than Arjuna. I don't know why because of a lot of reasons. I think uh, a few of the reasons because first of all, as I said, like Karna's um, character design is cool as hell. I really love it. And not I'm not saying that Arjuna's character design is bad. It's also good, but I prefer Karna's character design a lot more. And he's like you know like I don't know like this this is an unusual charm to Karna. And uh, yeah, like I really love Karna so much. <clears throat> and obviously Arjuna is and uh, you know Arjuna here Arjuna Alter is there as well. I wonder if we're going to get uh, we kind of got I think another alteration of Karna who is uh, Karna Santa who we're going to get in the JP version. But you know, like I'm saying, like as another, like you know, five star servant, will you get another, um, or like you know, Kana altar or something like that, or some different class? Who knows? Maybe we can get a Kana. Uh, I don't know. Um. Yeah, something. You know, like uh, hopefully in the future, because I I feel like Kana is like. Like what can I say? Like extremely cool, and uh, yeah, I'm not like you know like I really love Karna. Anyways, I, I like I was supposed to talk about Arjuna, and I started talking about Karna. What the hell? 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, so yeah, this Zumba Phantasm, like as I said, like you know, it's uh, quite <clears throat> simple and uh, yeah, uh, I I wonder if uh, Arcade has uh, Arjuna Altar. I'm not sure. Obviously, if if, if it is there, we're going to find it in, the, in later on. But I would love to see his Noble Phantasm animated, you know, Arjuna Alter's Noble Phantasm. It would, be, it would look so cool. Uh, because his in-game Noble Phantasm is pretty amazing. Uh, I'm talking about Arjuna Alter. So, yeah. Alright, okay, that was it. And uh, so, I stopped at Arjuna. Uh, I'm at number 63. So, a few, I think 30. 40 almost 40 left so it'll probably take me two more uh, uh you know two more days to actually finish this and as i said like you know um i usually planned on doing this weekly but because of the events i kind of stopped in midway so if uh, obviously uh battle in new york will start and if i am quite busy with that uh, i might again have to pause this and when that event will end i'll probably continue this again so yeah oh my god that was great okay one thing i said i i, I would love to check it, it out but okay uh that is voice actress of um shuten doji uh, i said it was yuki aoi let me see if i'm correct or not yeah yuki aoi that's her voice actor voice actress and uh, uh like a few characters who she did Oh, she voice acted uh, Komachi from uh, my teen romantic comedy Snafu. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can, I can, I can un <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. Oh, Rita from Honkai Impact. Tanya, there you go. Um, Lumine from Genshin Impact. Oh, really? Oh, oh, I did not know that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, uh, Cruel Tepes from Seraph of the End. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Uh, Madoka from Madoka Magica. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, Diane from Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, we know that. Wow, she did a lot of characters. Tamaki from Fire Force. Yeah, okay. Mami from Kanojo ok Okaishimasu. Okay, yeah, I can see all of them now. And uh, obviously Kumoko from uh, Kumo Deska Nanika. Wow, I I never knew she did so many characters. Okay, and very famous characters. Not like you know famous as famous, but very important characters as well. Like Tanya is obviously the most famous of them all, and uh, obviously there's a few others as well. Uh, Kumoko. Diane from uh, Diane from uh, Seven Deadly Sins. So, yeah. Anyways, I I, I was uh, like, you know, I I I was a little bit conf not confused, but hesitating if it was really Yuki Aoi. But yeah, it is Yuki Aoi. Uh, Shuten Doji's voice actress, and wow, her voice range is very impressive. I have to say, you know, like if someone told me that, uh, you know, Tanya. And Shuten, both of them are act voice acted by the same character, and I did not know it. I would be like, "What the hell are you even saying?" Like they they sound not similar at all. Like Shuten's voice acting and Tanya's voice acting, you know. But if you really listen to it closely, you can find the similarities. And uh, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, guys, that was it, guys. That was my um reaction to Fate Grand Order Arcade JP uh, PVs. And I'm going to, this is part three of the video. I did two parts before as well. And I'm going to continue this probably in the next week or later on if I'm quite busy with the events, you know. But I'm definitely going to complete this. Mm. It'll take two more uh, videos, I think, to complete this. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, we'll almost at 1k subscribers. Help me reach 1k. And uh, yeah, I'll, it'll be it'll really help, and I'll I would be really appreciative of that. And if you subscribe and comment down below, uh, anything you want to say, whichever like, you know characters, noble phantasm you love the most, or anything you want to like, you know talk about FG related, I'll check them out. And if you, as I said, if you have any other suggestions, as I, I said before that um, I I would love to actually uh, you know uh, check out the servants' lore. 
you know, uh, and make a video on it. You know, me actually reading the servant's lore and uh, like I know there are videos uh, of like you know like uh, of like you know certain YouTubers who do these type of lore things, but I I I'm kind of hesitating on reacting to those because it'll be basically like you know like what can i say like they, they do, do those type of things uh taking time and everything and me just reacting to it and like, you know gaining views is it, it feels kind of weird to me so I'm, I'm not going to react to those videos i think i'll i'll probably look at the wiki pages you know and read the uh you know uh everything that is there uh related to the servants and i'm going to check out their laws like that so if you are you guys are interested in that uh, let me know because i'll probably do one or two videos and see if like you know people are watching or not if people are enjoying it or not it'll be basically like you know me reading uh, uh like you know the, the characters the, the servants so like a story and like you know like trying to understand what's happening and what is their uh the history of them so let me know if you guys are interested in that i might do that I, i'm quite interested in that so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next fgo related video so until then goodbye and have a nice day